Good morning, I'm uh, Björn Faller and uh, I want to write a very simple parser, um, a calculator actually, so like this grammar here. Um, I want also to be able to store, store and retrieve named variables, but, but a, a very simple parser anyway. And this bothers me because parser generators suck. Um, actually they don't suck if you have a complex grammar, they are extremely helpful. But, but for a very simple grammar like this one, this is an example from uh, Gnu Bison's uh, documentation. Uh, the distance between the code that you write and the code that is generated is just huge and it's difficult to debug, it's enormously difficult to test, so you don't want to go there for a simple grammar like this one. So, all right, I know how to write a really simple parser, I'll just get help from a, a lexer, but lexers suck. <laughs> Typically what you have is something like, you, you represent your tokens with an enum, or even worse, just uh, pound defines and integers. And you have some other means of obtaining data that is related one way or another to, to your token. So you, you call a function that you get your token from, and you have switch cases or what have you to to match them and, and then you write code that you hope you get the correct associated data with them. It's, it's just messy. You don't want to go there. <sighs> so what do we do? Um, take a few steps back. Um, C++17 gave, gave us some really cool things. One of them is Studvariant. So Studvariant is a, a class template, a very added class template with you just give whatever types you want it to contain, and it, it acts just like a union. Uh, except that it's sort of clever because it knows which type it holds. Uh, when I first read about this, my reaction was, who cares? It's a union. I don't remember when I last used a union. Ten years ago, fifteen, at least. Uh, but anyway, it's, it, you can create it with whatever value you want to use. You can assigned to it and get the type th that you intend to get. And if you try to get something that is wrong, it throws an exception. So, okay, it's, it's slightly better than a union, but... Uh. But there's a nice little companion to variant. Visit. Hmm. But then this came up. Uh, that was two months ago, roughly. Um, so that visit is everything wrong with modern C++. I'm not sure I agree with the word everything, because if it is everything that is wrong, we're in really good shape. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, the idea with visit is that we, we create a visitor that has overloaded function call operators for the different types that we want. Uh, but this is not really very cool. You see, you, you write your visitor in one place, and you use it somewhere else. It's the distance between code and use of the code is just too far. Uh, this is bothering me. But then it occurred to me, uh, a lambda, as Vittorio mentioned earlier here, talked a lot about, it's, it's actually an object of class type with a function call operator. And you can inherit from such an object. So, evil green horns on your forehead, you can inherit from a lambda. This is cool. So, so we do something like this. A class template overload with a very added template that inherits from all its parameters. There are, there's a plethora of different implementations of, of this one under a number of different names. Uh, Vittorio has written a really good one. This is the simplest one I could possibly imagined, so I don't have to <laughs> explain everything. Uh, it's constructor just copies all its parameters to, to the basis, and then we use a C++17 variadic using to, to bring these function call operators into view. And another beautiful thing from C++17 is automatic type deduction from the constructor, because when the types in the constructor call matches directly the types of the template, which 
these ones do. The overload constructor takes t dot dot dot, and that is exactly what the what the template parameters for the overload is. Then in this case, the language automatically for us deduces the type for each of the lambdas and creates the t's. And so x becomes now an object that has two overloaded function call operators, one for int and one for sysstring. Uh, kind of neat. So the use becomes like this, and we have our variant, and we visit it with an overload of a number of lambdas. So now we have logic where we use it. That is cool, I think. And the structure of this becomes sort of like a switch statement, but instead of having case labels for, for values that we want to match, we have types that we match with code that knows how to handle that type. I like that. And, well, you have auto for sort of like the default for a, a switch. Uh, so back to writing the calculator. We need a number of uh, ways to represent the tokens. So why not a simple lambda type for, for single character tokens? Uh, numeric literals hold their value uh, as data. The identifier for the variables holds, in this case, the, the name as a, as a string view. Yeah, makes sense. We have some keywords for storing and dropping named variables. And for anything we don't understand, we just throw something. Makes sense. So then we can define our token type as a variant of e each of these individual token types, and a lexer <coughs> that returns tokens that we can act on. So this is super cool. So with this, you can see the, in all its glorious details. You can read it in the back, right? <laughs> now, what you can see is that this is not a lot of code, and this is the entire parser. This is all of it. You can zoom in a little bit. Uh, parse factor. Get a token visit and see, is it an identifier, then look it up. Is it a number, that return the value. If it's a plus, parse a term. If it's a minus, parse a term and negate it. If it's a parenthesis, open parenthesis, parse a parenthesis expression. And if it's anything else, throw. Uh, throwing string literals, um, slide where lightning talk, you know. Uh. <laughs> To do another example, parse parentheses. So again, we parse the expression, look at the next token, and with uh, a variant we can ask it, is this the type you hold? So we check, does it hold a closed, closing parentheses? Then we're good, we return the value. If not, we, we throw and say something is wrong with this expression. So. Instead variant and instead visit is a really powerful combination with overload of lambdas. Uh, it's just a shame that this overload thingy or something like it is not part of the standard because now I have read blog posts with at least five or six different implementations and I'm sure there are a hundred more, at least, of various qualities. But with this, it's really easy to read easy to construct code, that it's easy to understand, easy to read. It, this, of course, works for things like communications protocols where you have visit for the different message types, for example, instead of tokens and what have you. But the, the technique is really powerful. And that is actually all I'm going to say. You can find the source code on my GitHub account, and here you have the information on how to spam me should you want to do that. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>